All right, welcome back. Section number four, solving multi-step inequalities. Sorry, sometimes I have to make it interesting to myself. Um, I apologize. Um, all right, we're gonna do these the same way we did one steps, as well as the same we did equations. Okay, we're gonna go step by step, getting the variable by itself each step of the way. Okay, so let's just jump right in. All right, so negative 6a minus 7, less than or equal to 17. It also asks us to check. So I'm going to get rid of the minus 7 by adding 7. And then I'm going to divide both sides by a negative 6. I am dividing by a negative. Last section, we learned that what that means is to flip the inequality. So I flip the inequality because if I don't, what's left is not true. Okay, so now I'm going to check it. Okay, remember, I'm going to pick the number itself and then something in the shaded region. So something bigger than negative 4, so I pick 0. So I go through. I get 24 minus 7. Yep, that's true. Yep, that's true as well. Okay, so yeah, there's my check, there's my work, there's letter C. Why don't you give that one a try? So minus 30. Let's switch it around real quick. taking 200 divided by 8. So I get 100 over 4, 25. So x is less than 25. Look, I didn't pause it. I worked it out on the screen for all of you that think that I pause and use little evil demon boxes. This time I didn't. Okay, I'll, uh, you can do your check. We plug in 25 and something smaller than 25. It, you can pick easy numbers, folks. Pick easy numbers. It's a good idea. Okay, using the distributor property. All right, so 15 less than or equal to 5 minus 8m minus 14. Okay, so I distribute this negative 2 to everything inside. I'm going to flip this around real quick. Combine like terms. Add 9 to both sides. Divide by negative 8. Flip the inequality. M is less than or equal to 3. Negative 3. Sorry. So M equals negative 3. And M equals eh, negative 4. Okay. I suggest you go back up to the original problem to plug it in. Multi-step check. Okay, 
So that's the work. Those are the long checks. Well, bam. Variables on both sides. So we want to move the variables to one side, all the other numbers to the other. So I'm going to add to be, or not to be. Well, you get the point. Okay, subtract 12. Divide by 5. It's positive, so we don't change anything. Pick. Pool numbers. I'm going to plug it in. Okay. Now, special solutions. Look here. We go through the process, we distribute. Notice what happens with the A's. They cancel each other out. Notice what we're left with. This is true. So, all numbers. So I can plug in any value of A, and it's always going to be true, because look at what happens with the A's. They cancel, and what you're left with is a true sentence. Okay. Here's the different one. Okay. Look what happens with your, your M's. They cancel each other out. Look what's left. That is false. So this is one of those no solution problems. Okay. So when the variables cancel each other out and you're left with a true statement, all real numbers or all numbers. If the variables cancel each other out and you're left with a false statement, no solution, no value of M can be plugged in and have this be true. Okay, I'm going to leave you with those two, A and B. You've gotten enough of watching me do it. Here's your chance. See which one's which. Maybe they're special, maybe they're not. Check to see how you're doing. That's it. A little long, sorry. See ya.